everybody, good morning. It's a beautiful, beautiful morning here at Makaha Beach. Uh, the waves are pristine, it's glassy, it's sunny, and it's warm. The water is so nice right now. I feel so blessed to be out here. So, today I wanted to bring a little bit of light to this idea that I've recently been exploring. And it's this idea of creating new neural pathways in the mind. Now, when I say new neural pathways, what this means conscious friends out there, you know, maybe we spend a little bit more time awake. However, what I've been recently exploring is this idea of being able to tap into the quantum field, which is available to us right now in this moment, and only in this moment. But in this moment, we can go in the past and the future. Wow. So how do we tap into the quantum field? Well, first of all, it's really important to start to train the mind to be quiet. mind to be quiet, you start to realize that the body and the mind are kind of different. In fact, the body is so trained to the mind that our mind is actually connected to our body. to start to explore new ways to retrain our body and mind. So I'm going to give you three techniques to do so. Number one, meditation. By going into meditation, you're able to meditation, you're able to quiet the mind so that you can begin tapping into the future or witnessing experiences, imagining, using your imagination to begin visualizing experiences and begin experiencing the feeling of having what it is that you want before you have it. That's what it talks about even in the Bible. It talks about faith is the, the evidence of the unseen. So how can we boost our faith? Well, one way is through education, research, expand your knowledge base. Start exploring new avenues for ways that your dreams or ideas can manifest. Start to research new business models. Try to speak the language of the world so that you can too, so that you can become sustainable and your dream can become sustainable. So, number two is 
has to take massive, massive action towards your goals. Take massive action towards your goals. You want to be able to set a goal and immediately take action towards it. And make, make it a belief that you are going to achieve it. Believe it and do it. And number three is set boundaries around your goals. These boundaries are to protect you from going outside of your old behaviors, your old habits. So ways that you can do this is say, say that you are a heavy player, or say that you can do your goals. Those are boundaries. So you have the goal in the center, and then around that is the boundaries. So video games might be on the outside, or alcohol. And as soon as you start to think about video games or alcohol, that's when you immediately refocus back on your goal, back on your core mission. video shoot me a message if you want to talk more about this stuff please reach out to me all right so from the beach of makaha here in oahu hawaii this is jonathan fritzler reporting to you live aloha